Yeah, was that lightning? <laughs> We're going to the beach. Woohoo! Woohoo! Beach day. We just got onto the island. That was a fairly quick ride because we took the speedboat over here and the bus was only like 15 minute ride and it was 400 yen. We are about to go to the beach, but I just want to say Japan has the biggest butterflies ever. And it's terrifying. And I like this. I don't like this at all. It's not gonna stop me from my beach day though. I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. Right now it is oh, 10 in the morning. Woke up at 7 this morning. Dude, look at the water. Yeah, it's so nice. That's insane. Like, that doesn't look real. Oh my god, oh my god, there's so many, but like, I can't. They're blocking my path. <laughs> there's swarms of them. Run, run, run. This looks unbelievable. The water is so clear. been like hanging out by myself like kind of tanning chilling on the beach but i'm about to go in the water as well i was just about to leave when matt came back let's go uh, let's go <laughs> thank you so much i'm so We moved a little bit forward because the sand is so much nicer here. We just got back from snorkeling and it is so, so cool out there. Everything about it is just, just incredible. The sun is finally out. The blue sky has come out as well. Super, super lucky with the weather. That's not but we've only been here for like... Three hours. You drank that in three hours. For... We were in the water, so I got water through osmosis. We found a good spot on the beach. No one else, hardly anyone else is here. Look, look, look. Ta -da! And then on this side, everyone else is over there. Ta -da! And we're gonna leave our things here. Hope for the best. We're gonna take our valuables, of course. Some of our things here so we can ba wai. That's what Hong Kongers do, which means like we keep the space, you know? We gotta make sure that no one's gonna take our spot while we go have lunch, which I'm very excited about because Japan beach lunch is not the same as like regular crappy beach lunch. So let's go. just decided to stop by for a little lunch. Snorkeling was crazy cool. We got to see the fish up close and personal, which is kind of funny because we just came from the aquarium. I was really hoping to see the purple fish because Matt said that he saw it. It was just a very, very cool experience. You can get very, very close to the coral reef. You got to be very careful about swimming next to it and swimming near the fish. And Matt said that if you stay really still, the fish will come towards you. And he was trying to like communicate that to me while we were snorkeling. And I was like, I, I don't want them to come near me. I'm, I'm good to just observe them from afar. So that's what I did. You can also shower. There's a changing room and shower room if you just keep going straight. There's like so much happening at this restaurant. After reading all of the things from the aquarium yesterday, I just remember like there's a plethora of venomous underwater creatures. So I was like very cautious and I was like trying to look at the things that I read. I said you were being a mermaid swimming through them. You know what? Funny you say that because I actually was thinking that. With your fins. Like for real. I'm a real life mermaid. That was like the one thing that was keeping me 
like extra calm in the water because I did freak out a little bit. There are these like moments when you're swimming that gets really, really cold, like ice freezing cold, like it feels like a cold plunge. And then if you keep swimming, you'll find like the warmer areas and it feels like you're basking underneath the sun underwater. So it's very nice. It kind of does shock you a little bit and it's definitely something to pay attention to. I was trying to keep my nervous system like, you know, steady. But I was like, I'm a mermaid, I'm Ariel, I like fish, fish are friends, it's all okay. have snorkeling marks but oh my god i just had the craziest experience underwater it was so beautiful i said i couldn't capture it my camera ran out of battery but first of all the water is freezing by the way just warning you if you come in like what is it in april right now it's freezing but so worth it like i almost didn't go back in i'm so glad i did that because matt found this place underwater it's like gi giant coral reefs like more than the footage that i captured there's these like two giant i don't know what they're called like groups of coral reef. I don't know, they're kind of like underwater mountains, okay? There's one on this side, one on this side, and you swim between. That was so worth experiencing if you ever come here. Honestly, I wouldn't even know where to tell you where to look. There. <laughs> I know this gives zero context, but I don't know. If you know anything about swimming and locations, there you go. Pretty, pretty seashell. Yo, Matt, come have a look, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, that's the protected species. I saw a box in the in the aquarium yesterday where these ones are like, um, they're like designated national treasures or something like that. What? Can't pick them up. They need like a license to pick them up. Let's get by this one. Can I film it like up close? It's so cute. Little guy. Amazing. I feel so calm. Serene. I am just happy that I got to see things I've never seen before in my life. Never really swam with coral like that before. Yeah. I love the part where like the coral opened up and like on both sides. Yeah, I was like, wow. Coral. Yeah, because it just there's a whole life underneath were they, there. Were they accepting of you? Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's this one part where I was sort of like stayed still, right? I didn't want them to touch me, but I was like kind of curious. I was like saying hi to one, and one actually like turned and looked at me, and then like. Like yeah. stayed looking at me and I was like oh. a very cool moment especially for me because I'm afraid of the water maybe we should go but look at that tiny car though <laughs> dope alright let's get going okay. hi we're gonna stay there for three months yeah, yeah we'll see. and then so we want like a free ticket to Okinawa yeah. <laughs> So crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's he, he wanted to. Yeah, he wanted to. Oh, yeah. Interesting when you can like travel and yeah. I don't know, meet new people, right? And you meet many, many yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. It's like if you are open, you can meet people every day. Yeah, so it's really cool to me that you guys even met me on your own trip yeah. as well. In a van? In a van, yeah. We I don't know if I want to tell the story. <laughs> it's, it's like a movie. It was, it was crazy. It was a movie. Ask me tonight after a few beers. Yeah. It, it was the only level. seat left. Yeah. And I didn't speak for 30 minutes because they were like her and her friends were just talking. Yeah, they never got booked. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm sunburnt. Ah, we just got back to our place after that long day at the beach. But we ended up talking to the people who we met on the boat for like quite some time, pretty much like the whole boat trip. We were like, what are your plans tonight? And everyone didn't seem to really have a plan. So we're about to go meet them for dinner. <laughs> Matt and I have been trying to go to an izakaya like every night we will pass by an izakaya yeah when we pass by naha like this week oh. they're really big drinkers so they start for the culture we're like should we go should we go it always looks good izakaya is basically just like a place where you chill you drink you eat a little bit and it always looks so 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 good every single day i've been exhausted like after our daytime activity i've just been completely knackered by the end of the day that i can't even even like 
function to dinner. Like struggling just to get myself to dinner and then immediately after dinner, I'm like, but today is a weekend. It's a Saturday and we're like, no, we need to try and eat Zakaya. I'm just powdering my face. I, I don't know what I'm doing. This is, I don't even have a base. What's going on? But weirdly enough, I have a good amount of energy left. Perhaps it's like the energy of spontaneity to meet people. We're about to go have dinner with strangers. <laughs> the weekend. We're going to get turns, but be in bed by like 10 p.m. It's already 9. <laughs> no. We're going to have some izakaya. Let's go. This is dope. Beer? Yeah, I'm yeah. down for a beer. Oh, so four beers. Yeah. So you're in charge. Yeah, she's yeah. shit. Okay. There's a lot of pressure. Oh yeah, none of us speak a lick of yes. Japanese, so like we're all trying to figure out how to order anything and everything. Oh. Also, we decided to do a food roulette, so we have no idea what we ordered. And you can thank Ezekiel over here. Put your Google Translate away and just pick. <laughs> we're gonna roulette this dish. Uh, we have the picture. Are you guys allergic to anyone? No, nothing. That's a that's actually a good question. That is a really good question. Okay. <laughs> all right, you gotta go. Oh, Oh, I'm, I'm into it. That's the Orient draft. This one. Let's get this one too. Yep. I don't know. Both Thank him you. and Tess decided that we don't need our phones tonight. No translate or anything like this that. Maybe I can, um, no Google translator in this in this yeah. dinner. Sorry. And we're just gonna wing it. Why not? Today seems to be the theme for that. Oh. Too small. She like plans every day. <laughs> yeah, she told me everything. like needs to be planned. Yeah, we got that one. Hot alcohol. When in Rome. We'll do this. Oh. Oh, nice. It's nicer than, yeah, vodka. Yeah, chasing with a B, chasing with a B. Is it one word? Yeah, no, it's three words. What does it mean? You. You can say that, whatever, whatever, like, no plan, que te day and we decided that today is gonna be like a more chill day because it's Sunday and we're like oh it's Sunday lunch brunch kind of vibes I'm feeling a bit hungover actually. not hungover but like you feel, like when you know you've been drinking yeah I woke up a little bit like oh alcohol in my system <laughs> but because of that we're like okay we need to do a Sunday chill vibes and it's nice weather it's sunny and we're gonna go have some pancakes Wow, so we're kind of observing right now that this whole road is blocked off on Sundays for cars. So I guess you could just like stroll straight up in the center of the whole road like we're doing right now. Smell pancakes, do you smell pancakes? I smell pancakes, it smells so good. Where is it? I just realized that I'm having ice cream for breakfast. <laughs> when in holiday. There's one in the corner, the sandwich, where you parked before. Oh. Yeah, I knew you would know what that meant. I don't know what that means. Huh? Is it left or right from here? This is a pop quiz question. Do you yeah, know the answer? Question, yeah. Oh, I definitely don't know. Okay, I'm gonna guess. It's a 50-50. Right. It's left. <laughs> oh my god. And we just did a mini shopping pit stop because there's a store that I've been really, really wanting to check out really quick. And it's really cool because the material in the store, the gifts that you can buy, are all made from this specific tiling, like Japanese tiling. It's kind of like a porcelain material and you can use it in quite a variety of ways. So I got a little bit of presents, a little bit of souvenirs for friends, and now we are on the way to lunch. Finally go get some taco rice. My stomach is feeling so much better now, so now I actually can go and eat and enjoy. We passed by this taco place before, and then we didn't get to eat it that day, so this time around, we are going back for it, especially because it is our second last day, so let's go see what it's all about. Hi. If you don't like tomatoes and cheese, say that. You know what, I will say that. Not gonna lie. I'm not entirely sure what I ordered. Uh, I know I ordered tacos and I know I ordered rice. In terms of like regular and portion, there's also like spice. You can choose like mild spice, regular spice. I guess I'm gonna see. 
I'm excited to eat. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, this is super well worth it. And the camera's recording, but you can also... In 300 meters, turn right. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> no, it's slippery. Oh, okay. beach. Yeah. We decided to come to the beach at night and then we missed our first beach point. So technically, this is a different beach than we intended to come and like, the roads are pretty narrow. It's just completely empty. And oh yeah, it's raining. And cold. <laughs> Dude, bring your jumper. It's really cozy with a jumper. You okay to stay here by yourself for a bit? Oh my God, are you gonna come back? <laughs> <laughs> like this? We're all alone on the beach now. Put my phone in my pocket and then turn on the flash. This is the only light source I've got now. The wind is pretty extreme, so much so that your umbrella will get flipped. So I'm trying to be cautious of the direction. Or I could just... Oh my god. I'm on an entire beach alone at night in the middle of the dark. Wow. Ah, much better. There's coral here too. Coral. Was it lightning? Oh, it's me. Okay. The jellyfish? Well, we never know. Oh wait, no, I think it's lightning. You saw lightning? I think so. Alright, we're fine. Uh, we're, yeah. not this. we're not risking this, it's not worth it. <laughs> We've seen too many videos. And plus the rain just got way heavier on as, just as we arrived to the beach. <laughs> Nikki documentary. Nikki in the wild. Okay. <laughs> we're safe. Alive. Oh, show, the, show the road. Middle of nowhere. Yep. The <laughs> only car here on the beach. <laughs> we're getting out of here. <laughs> okay, safe. As well as, oh, I nearly no. pulled it down. I was like, oh, I wonder what this is. So I was fiddling I it. Up. I don't know the lights were. Next first drive through. First drive through. BLT, please. Basically, it's nighttime now, and we just need something quick to go that kind of has been the theme late at night. But it's because we just did a little mini, a little Uniqlo and Muji haul. Matt mainly we have the stores in Hong Kong, but then the items are just cheaper here. Oh, and the selection is not as good. Oh yeah, and the selection is different too. We're about to enter Uniqlo. Where are you gonna put Uniqlo? <laughs> Uniqlo. Actually, it just occurred to me that Japan Uniqlo would probably have different featured like items collabs than Hong Kong Uniqlo. Gosh, this? Stop, this is so cute. Ah! It's Muji time. Best store in the whole world. It's so quiet. Bedding. To feel exactly like my bedding. It's not the same. It's not what I'm looking for. This is really soft though. It's not the same thing. You should have the pillowcase. What am I gonna do? Just I like. Yeah, like, hey, do you have this thing? <laughs> this exact one. Yeah. Like one third of the price. Seven things for like 700 bucks. Yeah, that's so good. It took me longer to order than it took for them to make the food. Everything oh. though. I forgot to tell you, the, the lady in Muji said you're kawaii ne. <gasps> Stop, did she really? When you left to get your sweater, <gasps> oh, kawaii ne. Oh my god! People in Japan have been calling me beautiful and cute all over and everyone here is so bloody nice. I feel kawaii just from everyone complimenting me. Right? Have you noticed the driving? Yeah, driving. Like People let you go. People let you go, people let you cross the road. Even earlier when I was in the store, I just kind of like collided paths with someone. They like sort of like bow apologize to me. Like, you know that gesture where you're like, my bad? I was like, oh my God, we just collided. It was no one's fault, but even so, I need this 
quality of life. Everyone's kind. No one's like giving bad yeah. vibes, you know? <laughs> no strings attached kindness. And I'm like, what's that like? This is, that's a very, very big difference in culture shock, I would say, between here and like everywhere else. <laughs> Maybe that's why everyone here lives so long. It's boring. Thank God this had to happen, I was late. I know, we almost chose Monday to go, remember? It is completely pouring outside. We're about to go in the rain. It is our last day, so you know we're still gonna make things happen. In the rain touch. Oh yeah, it's also thundering. So then maybe we should go to the bunker. It's pouring. Maybe we should. English version and salivating. Oh no, I got my Muji bag wet. That was honestly such a yummy meal. It was so filling. Both Matt and I did not actually think that we would be full from it. In fact, when we first ordered it, we were like, I think we can order more sushi afterwards. If we're still hungry, it's so good. We'll just order more afterwards. And then by the time we were like on our last like three, four pieces, I was like a little bit struggling. Like I have to finish it because it's so good. It's probably the best sushi we've had all trip. And I think Matt pointed out that that was our most expensive meal so far, but definitely, definitely the most worth it as well. <laughs> this out you guys and let's see the whole city we're about to enter a world war ii bunker it used to be a military airfield so this was built to like protect it it's like not how airports like right there it just got real that look oh yeah, I don't know if I can go down that alone. I don't like this entrance. It's gonna be heavy. I haven't been to a World War II site before. Oh my god, stop. I don't know about this, mate. I believe this part is hand carved. When you look at the pictures, it doesn't feel this real. These walls are so narrow. I'm not going in this room alone. This must have been really cramped. Imagine 10,000 people in here. No, but imagine 10,000 people with not all of them. Yeah. It's a really scary. The number of people that committed in here. So. Okay. Okay. I I got it. I can't. I can't. I'm scared. I'm scared. That was really heavy and like pretty terrifying. The fact that that's only about 80 years ago. At the end of the tunnel, they kind of put this very bright sun area around you, which is really nice and relieving. I feel that grenade room. I like, couldn't even like look at it properly. Oh, I can't believe that's the first World War II thing I've seen. Where's our car? We decided that we need to even out the feeling of intensity and heaviness by going to somewhere more chill so we're gonna like walk in the calm quiet nice street find little nooks and little cute little stores pick up our last souvenirs before we leave okinawa look at this shop now making not complete from now painting uh, complete this Ooh, dragon cup yeah kill Oh, yeah, yeah, Kiri is uh, yeah, here. Oh. Here? Yeah, downstage I find. But fire is this tree coloring, uh, Okinawan pottery traditional color. But actually, not Okinawa origin, from China. Chinese say, oh. Aosan side. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this color is presented as the traditional color of Okinawan pottery, but it is not a color development that originated strictly in Okinawa and is unique to Okinawa. The glaze was originally invented during the Tang Dynasty in China. So I make vessels that reproduce the colors of the ocean waters of my favorite Okinawan seas. Maybe they all open their shop until a certain hour and then when they're done, they go and make the pottery. Should we check out this place, Matt? Yeah. 